Hello, random viewer. I'm going to show you just a quick video on how to cold start a rather small engine. This is a Lycoming O235 that makes 116 horsepower in a Zenair Alaris aircraft. Uh, it wasn't able to be started last time it was attempted by one of the other owners, so I came in and just warmed it up for them. You can hear the gyro spooling down. But I'll show you how I do that. When it's really cold and the battery is quite low, this is how you can get one of these carbureted engines started. Um, a lot of people say to use the primer, at least on this engine, it only primes one cylinder. So I gotta go ahead and use the accelerator pump in the throttle, just pumping the throttle. You wanna be careful with that because that does spray fuel directly into the carburetor and that can be a fire hazard. So if you do that, you need to immediately hit the starter as soon as you're done with that so that you don't have a fire hazard. Normally I wouldn't say this, but make sure all the lights are turned off just because they will pull power from the starter. We need as much power to the starter as possible when it's cold and the battery is weak. So now that we've established the lights are off, we need to make sure the area is clear. So look around, ensure there is no one around and give a good clear prop shout when you're ready to start it because we don't have the lights to alert people. As soon as we get the engine running, we will turn on the lights like we're supposed to. But for now, we need as much power for the starter as we can. Next, what we're going to do, mixture full rich, fuel pump on, and we haven't even turned on the master yet. Now we're going to put the keys in. I'm going to turn it to both mags already. That way, everything is ready to go. I'm going to turn on the master switch, pump the throttle three times. Uh, because it's so cold, I'm going to try four, and then I'm going to crank it. If that doesn't work, I'll try five. If that doesn't work, I'll try six. As it starts to catch, I might push in a little bit of throttle and I'll also let go of the key. There's a bit of a technique to it that you just have to learn, but the real key is to add fuel only a little at a time. That way, you're not going to flood it. So here we go. Let's start with four. So master on. We have fuel pressure right here. One, two, three, four, and then barely crack that throttle. Not much. Fuel pump off so we're not pulling power. Holding the brakes. And look at that. I got it just with a slight pump of the throttle. It started to catch, you pump the throttle, and that can just about do it. All right, as soon as it's running, we're going to make sure we have oil pressure. Oil temperature is going to take a while. Let's get our alternator on and start charging that battery. Now we can get the lights on. we can do to warm it up faster is lean this mixture a little bit. Not too much because it's cold, but we'll get it to where it starts to cut off, like there, and then we'll go back in about an inch, and that'll just help it warm up a little bit faster. I hope that helped, and I hope you all have a very nice day.